yo, what's going on, guys? It's Mr. Action back at you with another episode of Packed in Action Figure Reviews, where we give you that action that's packed in. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends series X Men Marvel's Angel. And this is a figure that I was definitely anticipating when I saw the promotional images, especially being an X Men fan. It was definitely one of those figures that I couldn't wait to get. Now I was able to grab this guy at my local GameStop in South Florida. So shout outs to GameStop. You know, oftentimes you guys get a lot of hate, but honestly, I feel like when you guys disappear, that's when we're gonna really understand how truly precious and how valuable you are. I mean, I, I put GameStop on the same level as Blockbuster, but you know, when I saw it, I definitely had to grab it. And the price actually wasn't that bad, you know, considering that this was a deluxe figure. I think I paid $33 with my pro member price, man. And you know, it's always nice to have like, you know, those physical places where you can, you know, meet and, you know, just talk to, you know, different people that enjoy some of the same things that you do. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to GameStops. I love you guys, but y'all do be tripping sometimes. But nonetheless, <laughs> let's take this figure off of the rotating stand and let's get a closer look. Now, first things first, we are going to take a quick look at the box. And when I say quick, I do mean quick. I mean, you guys have been staring at it for the past 30 seconds. But I will do my due diligence and at least read the read up on the back just in case you happen to miss it. And it reads, the high flying angel assist in the fight against Dark Phoenix and other threats to the X-Men using his wings to take the battle to the sky. So with that being said, let's get this guy out of the box and let's see what we rocking with. And here we have Angel out of the packaging and for first impressions, I can honestly say that I'm very pleased with how this figure looks, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a figure that has been long overdue, you know, considering that Angel is one of the founding members of the X-Men. It is really nice that we were able to get this guy. Now, even though this is a really nice figure, it's not to say that this figure does not have any flaws. Um, I do have my personal preferences for articulation points, like maybe butterfly joints and maybe a diaphragm swivel. But I think at first look or at a first glance, this figure is definitely something that is going to pop out on your shelf. You know, I definitely do like the attention to the wings, man. The wings are definitely, you know what I'm saying, the game changer with this figure that definitely makes this figure pop. Uh, but you know, enough of the small talk. With all of that being said, let's take this guy off of the stand and let's take a closer look. So first things first, jumping right along into the accessories, one of the first things we're going to take a look at are the flight hands that comes with this angel. And I think they did a pretty good job with the small details in there, like the veins in there that you can see for an example. You can clearly see that these are gloves. They're tight fitting gloves as you can kind of see the finger detail with the lines in this hand. And thankfully we don't have any fingernails showing through the glove. So that's always nice and it's more or less pretty much the same thing um taking a look at these they actually do seem somewhat familiar i do want to say that they were reused from the vision hands from the void builder figure wave then moving right along over to the head sculpts of these figures man i am definitely very pleased with hasbro's technology when it comes to the digital printing of the faces man over the years you know we've seen kind of seen like the evolution from going from paint application to faces to digital printing and i definitely do feel like the digital printing is you know a lot more superior than you know the paint applications because sometimes they can be a bit sloppy uh, with that being said there still is some issue with the head sculpt i would probably say the biggest thing issue for me is the lack of paint detail or the lack of any kind of wash in the hair. I definitely feel like a little bit of paint here would have been, you know, it would have went a long way to kind of help some of the hair detailing pop. But apart from that, I think that this is a pretty good head sculpt. Then jumping right along over to the next head sculpt, between both head sculpts, I definitely want to say that this one here is my favorite of the two. So many times with Marvel Legends, we get, you know, so many different stoic faces that it kind of, kind of gets old, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of nice to see, you know, a more expressive face with him smiling. And one of the other differences that I did want to point out is that the mask is actually um, different, you know what I'm saying? Here we can kind of see it's more of that kind of gamut style and here it's a little bit more angular with like you know going down his nose and on his cheekbones and everything like that so I am feeling this head sculpt here a little bit more unfortunately just like the stoic head sculpt 
uh, when it comes down to the hair detailing, um, you know, regarding the wash of the hair, you're not going to really get much. So it is a little bit disappointing that we did not get any um, wash with the hair. But apart from that, you know, I do think that these head sculpts are really, really, really done well. Then jumping into the reason as to far as why we're all here, angels, wings, and I am greatly satisfied with the amount of detail and the amount of work that Hasbro decided that they were going to put into these wings, man. Um, taking a closer look here at the feathers, man, we can see that it is not flat. It is definitely uh, has a textured kind of feel to it. And I feel like, you know, with the added wash to the uh, to the mold, it definitely helps with, you know, adding that texture as well as that detail to the figure. And, you know, Hasbro really didn't skip out with the paint, man. You know, coming up here, we can see that, you know, they kind of use like that off-white color when we think of feathers. And I do like how these wings are designed. You know, they can be pulled out further and then they do expand to the fullest extent. And even looking at some of the parts that were covered up when the wings are, you know, um, closed, we can still see that, you know, there is still a lot of detail there with the paint as well as some of the texturing there. And I definitely feel like, you know, they did a really, really good job with this, man. You know what I'm saying? I really have no complaints. This is definitely, you know, one of the eye grabbers of you know the figure then over here taking a look at how the wing attaches to the actual figure itself it is on a hinge so you know you can get it to move up and down which is really really nice and then these actually port into his back and they can actually spin uh, 360 as well so you can get all types of flows poses with these wings and I think it re I think they came out really 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 nice if I'm gonna be completely honest as we can see it's gonna be pretty much the same thing here on the opposite side but you know the wings definitely do have that nice detail on them and I am very pleased that Hasbro did not skip out on this man because these wings are definitely fire and I had a lot of fun posing them you know with them and just you know looking at it you know what I'm saying sometimes you know you just gotta pose your figures and just look at them now jumping right along into the aesthetics of this figure, I definitely feel like Hasbro actually gave us a relatively decent body mold for this figure. We are reusing the Vulcan body mold, which the Vulcan body mold is not a bad body at all. I just definitely feel like this figure could have benefited if we had some additional pieces uh, added to it. Now, one thing that the Vulcan body mold has are butterfly joints, but with this figure, for whatever reason, we did not get any butterfly joints, but I am going to talk about more about that when we are dealing with the articulation. But looking purely at the aesthetics of this figure, I definitely feel like Hasbro delivered on, you know, presenting you know angel for us man you know he is one of the founding members of the x-men so you know this figure is a figure that is long overdue again taking a look at the head sculpt we do see that that, that digital face printing is really on point the only thing that i mentioned previously before is that there is a lack of wash on the hair which i definitely feel like a little bit of paint would have went a long way especially with the hair just to kind of make it pop and make the texture a little bit more over here taking a look at the rest of the body we do have um, you know, the paintwork that's very clean over here, you know, on the chest, on the costume design. And I'm very pleased that, you know, they did a really good job with that. His costume design is relatively very simple. So, you know, you really can't mess up. Uh, but of course, you know, <laughs> sometimes mess ups or mistakes are made. Now, one thing that I do want to point is his shoulders are very, very nice. The only thing is that I do have a little bit of paint scratch here. It did come like that from out of the box. So that is something to kind of be wary of. I kind of do wish that they would have added perhaps maybe one or two more coats of paint on the shoulders. And that's only because you can very ever so lightly kind of see a red bleed through. And I do believe that's because the figure is mainly molded in red. And then, you know, the, the paint applications obviously are going to be white. Uh, but over here, just taking a look at, you know, the body for this figure, man. You know what I'm saying? I definitely, definitely do like, you know, the muscle definition and the muscle tone that these figures have. Um, and I think Hasbro actually did really, really, really well. Now, where there are going to be some, you know, mishaps or some personal nitpicks of mine are going to be here on the forearms. I do have these weird, like... Um, misapplications of paint and I'm not sure if that's by design if that's done purposely I haven't really seen any reference or source material where Angel has like little red 
catches there so i feel like that's more of a qc issue and then the other thing to note is with the arms we do have that nasty sculpted line because it is uh, a reuse of the vulcan body just to kind of show you guys what i mean here i have the black panther body which uh which is basically the vulcan body and we see here where his gloves are we have that sculpted line because angel's gloves start up here i definitely feel like that sculpt line could have been avoided and it ultimately would have made the figure look a lot more clean than going over here to the bottom portion of his body we do have a little bit of uh wrinkles here to kind of show that you know that this is a spandex costume and i like that they added that you know it's also going to be here on the back we don't really have you know any wrinkles up here on the clothing up top but it really doesn't take away from the figure if i'm going to be completely honest then taking a look at the paintwork here man we see that everything is really nice and clean man you know what i'm saying i really like you know how this you know design really came out even though it's a very simple design i think it's really well uh you know taking a closer look at the legs again you know we do see that muscle definition you know it's very defined i really like the way that it came out and then you know over here looking at the legs we do see that you know they're not flat you know they actually have some not texture to them but you know the muscle definition on on this figure is done really really well uh, again with the paint applications i don't know if the camera is picking it up but up here is painted up white and again i definitely feel like it would have benefited if we would have had maybe another coat or you know two of paint on there just to kind of you know make sure that we're not seeing that red bleed through the figure but i think all in all this you know aesthetically it's a really nice looking figure now jumping into the articulation of the figure, this is where I'm going to have my personal nitpicks about this figure. Now, I definitely feel like we should have gotten some butterfly joints with this guy, and I'm not quite sure as to why we did not. I've heard a few people say that the reason why we didn't get the butterfly joints is due to the design of how the wings are supposed to be put back here, so you wouldn't really get that full rotation of if you were to move the arms back. But before we get there, the head can look up this much which is really 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 good you know so you can get him in those flight poses and he can look all the way down like this so if you want angel flying up high in the sky looking down on his foes you can get him like that too as well i definitely feel like we gotta fix this because you know it's just not it doesn't look natural you know what i'm saying but that is it's it is what it is then going over into the arms now, again, as I mentioned before, it would have been nice if we would have had some butterfly joints, but again, I do believe that it is due to the design. We can get his arms to go out that far up, so we can get him in that nice T-Man pose. He does have bicep swivel, which is really nice, and he also does have double jointed elbows, which go past 90 degrees, which is really, really, really nice. I do like that. Um, his hands can go all the way down and they can go 360 which is also nice now another nitpick that i have is i really wish that we would have had this figure with a diaphragm swivel as opposed to the ab crunch uh, the diaphragm swivel would work especially since this is a figure where he's going to be a lot of flying and when you know you're flying with your body you are going to kind of have to move your upper torso in order for you to move in the direction that you want so i definitely feel like it would have benefited if we would have had that but for the time being he does have the ab crunch he can look down about this much which i think is really 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 good and he can look up this much which is also nice but again we are going to have that kind of nasty gap um, not really a huge big deal for me I'm probably not gonna have it extended all the way out there like that to see it but just something to point out then he also does have waist articulation 360 degrees which is really really nice then moving right over to the legs we can get angel kicking up about this much and we can't really get that much movement going back his legs can go out about this much far out which i think is really really nice he also does have 360 degrees uh thigh cut and then we also do have double jointed knees which is also really really nice we do have boot to butt which is cool and then we also do have a boot rotation here which is also really nice unfortunately with boot rotation of course when we move it we are going to get that nasty break in the sculpt so that is something to be mindful of and then we also do have hinges on the feet that go down they go up and they go side to side 
Now, I also wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys what his articulation with his wings attached to his body looks like. So again, we can pull out his wings and fully expand, extend them out all the way as so. And that is going to be the full range of his wings. And as you guys can see, man, you know, they held up really good, man. You know, the wings are really sturdy. Uh, the wings can also go back down into its neutral position. The other thing that I do like about the wings is that it is attached on a hinge. So they, it can go out far about this wide and you can still extend the wings as so. Then taking a look at over here on the opposite side, it's gonna be the same thing and we can extend the wings. If you wanna have it, you know, moved as such and have variation of different flight poses, man, you're gonna have a lot of different options with this guy, man. You know, just playing with the wings now, man, it's really just really cool how this figure is. Now, if you wanted to get your angel figure in a more defensive pose, we can get the wings to slightly cover his body ever so light so. So, you know, you can get them like that if you wanted to, but the wings are very well designed. I can honestly say that, man, very, very well designed. And I am very pleased with, you know, how they came out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so very good articulation with the wings. A lot of different things that you can do with it. I mean, so many different variations and poses. You can't really even see because that's how big the wings are. But, you know, really, really, really good pair of wings. And now jumping right along over into the size comparisons, over there to the left, we do have one of the founding members of the X-Men, Bobby Drake, AKA Iceman. And that is a custom paint job that I did with that figure. I do remember when that figure was originally released, a lot of people complained and they said that it looked like Silver Surfer, which you know I definitely agreed with. So I went ahead and added some paint to that bad boy. And then over there to the right, we also do have Hank McCoy, AKA The Beast. And for some more founding members, we also do have Scott Summers, AKA Cyclops over there to our left. And then we also do have our Jean Grey. And believe it or not, in my opinion, I still think that that's the best Jean Grey, even better than the newly released X-Men 97 Jean Grey. Fight me, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And then for some more size comparisons, we also do have Mr. Sinister over there to the left. And then we also have the maker of Archangel himself. We also do have Apocalypse. And then for some figures outside of your Marvel Legends collection, we do have the Black Series Darth Vader over there to the left. And then we also do have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Stewart. And then for some size comparisons with other figures that also do have wings over there to the left, I do have the Transformers Generations Windblade, I believe her name is. And over there to the right, I do have the DC McFarlane Red Robin. And taking a closer look at this Red Robin, this is a prime example of being able to have um, butterfly joints in a figure that also has wings that can protrude out like this. And so, you know, if McFarlane can do this with their figures, not quite sure why Hasbro couldn't do it with theirs, but that's just something to show. So after all this said and done, I think this is a pretty decent figure from Hasbro, man. You know, considering that Angel is one of the founding members of the X-Men, I am happy that we did get this figure. In my opinion, this was a figure that was long overdue, so I am happy that we do have it. Uh, of course, we do have Archangel, but I know many of us did want to have a, you know, an Angel into our collection that we could add. Now, when it comes down to the overall rating of this figure, I must remain impartial, even though I am a huge X-Men fan. If you're anything like me, I'm the kind of person where, you know, before I buy a figure, I watch a review uh, from like maybe four or five different people before I make a decision. So hopefully uh, with the review that I've given you guys, hopefully you guys can make a decision. Um, short answer, you should buy it. But um, to overall give this uh, figure a overall rating, man, I'm gonna give it a nine. And um, you know, honestly, I was gonna give it an 8.5, but honestly, the wings really do make the figure really pop and it really does make the figure stand out. Um, in my opinion, it kind of overrides, you know, the minimal flaws to this figure. So. With all of that being said, if you do happen to see this figure out in the wild, I would definitely grab him. He is a deluxe figure, so he is going to be a little bit more up there in the price. Um, again, I did find mine at GameStop for $33, which I was actually pretty satisfied about. Um, so I had no complaints there. But if you are an X-Men fan, this is definitely a must grab. Um, you know, I've you know been anticipating to add you know an angel into my x-men collection and i'm definitely happy that i do have them so guys once again thanks for checking out packed in action figure reviews 
Where we give you that action that's packed in. Please like and subscribe as it helps out my channel tremendously. I do do this as a hobby, but I also do it because I like engaging with you guys. So if there's anything that you guys want to say, any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to comment down below. So once again, guys, thanks for checking out this episode of Packed in Action Figure Reviews. Signing out. Have a blessed day.